you do any of my workouts, you know sometimes I say cheesy stuff. But hey, I'm into my quotes. I'm really I into, love <laughs> I love the cheese, especially in a workout. I'm like, pump me up. What's up, Class Fit Sugar? It's your girl, Katie Austin here, the creator of the Katie Austin app. And today I have a 30 minute booty and abs workout for you guys. All you need is yourself, so let's get to it. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. Down. All right, you guys, so you're gonna step back on your mat, just making sure your feet are a little bit more than hip distance apart. We're just gonna roll those shoulders down and back right here. How are you guys feeling today? Oh, that feels good. Are you feeling good? Nice yeah. way to wake up the back. Exactly, we're gonna get some energy right here. If you've been sitting at your work desk, this is the workout for you, especially starting with these shoulder rolls, all right? We wanna relieve the upper body tension, the tension along your neck. Last two. Last one, big deep breath in. Let's come all the way down for that squat deep Ooh. breath. Inhale through your nose and exhale, let it go. Great, three more big deep breaths. Feel free to close your eyes right here. Envision how you're about to crush this workout. Inhale, hold at the top, let it all go. Give me an audible exhale on this last one. I wanna hear you, let it all go. And ah, ah, nice. I love that. We're gonna drop it low with <laughs> the body weight squats just to make sure our glutes are nice and fired up right here. Now, this workout is low impact, so it's easier on the joints. Also, what I love about it is you guys can really do this anywhere, anytime, as there's no equipment needed, which is so great if you're traveling in your dorm room. That's the beauty about all my workouts. They're really on the go, they're accessible, and I wanna make sure that you're enjoying it. That is the key. We have three. Hold at the bottom in two. We're gonna pulse in one. Pulse it out, yes, yes. Beautiful, yes. making sure you're yes. feeling this along your heels. Keeping that chest tall and strong. Inhale, feeling your thighs, your glutes get nice and spicy. For six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it up, diagonal reach above head, feeling that stretch. Ooh. Other side. And now let's make it more of a cardio move from side to side. Here we go, adding Ooh. that bounce hey. in our lower half. Now. I don't know if you guys know, but my mom, back in the day, I feel like I always mention this alone, Pop Sugar. I was gonna say this actually makes me think of your mom. <laughs> it really does. Denise Austin, back yeah. in the day. This is her move, baby. Yes. I love to just recreate some of my mom's moves. Coming back to 80s style right here. Here we go. Inhale, still in that warm up face. And exhale. Now, we're gonna cross in front. So, really reach and twist that torso. Right here, we're really getting into that warm up. For our core, adding a little bit of a bounce in your lower half as well. And reach. So fun. Reach even further. <laughs> Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Leave your arms out just like this, opening up your chest and forward fold. Feeling that along your hamstrings. Yes, I feel and it. And right back up. Back is nice and flat. Neutral spine. Hold. And come on up. Relaxing those shoulders away from your face. Inhale and exhale, last one. Leave your hands up there on this last one. Warming up our core just a little bit. Pull ropes on each side. So you're only getting out of this as much effort as you're putting in. You're pulling, yes, cinching in that side stomach. Inhale and exhale. Now, I want you guys also squeeze those biceps extra tight. Here we go. For seven, six, yes. Five, four, yes. Building your core. I'm feeling my core, my arms. Your arms. Last two, last one, awesome. Now, making sure that these feet are a little bit more than hip distance apart. Again, a little bit wider. We're gonna come down, side lunge, stand to center, side lunge, other side. Here we go. Again, what we're doing right here is just getting our heart rate up just a little bit, all right? We're gonna get to more slower moves in a second here, but I wanna make sure your energy levels are up. You're getting all the oxygen to your lungs to give you energy to crush this workout and seize the day. Seize the day, <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you do any of my workouts, you know sometimes I say cheesy stuff, but hey, I'm into my quotes. I'm really I love the cheese. <laughs> I Thank love you. the cheese, especially in a workout. <laughs> I'm like, pump me up. Yes. Here we go, last two, you're gonna hold at the bottom on this next one and give me a pulse. 
pulse. Yes. Ooh. Here we go. Beautiful, you guys. Keep breathing in, keeping that chest tall and strong. Now, what I want you guys to do is also feel this in your inner thighs, a little bit of a stretch. We have six, five, four, three. Don't stand all the way up in two. Shift to the other side Ooh. in one. Beautiful. Now, you're getting your booty nice and lifted right here. Yeah. Pushing off that back <laughs> heel. You got it. Breathe in and out. We have a windmill up next. Three in two and one, windmill it out. Yes, perfect, Paris. Ooh. I love it. From side to side. Now, adding a little bit of that twist really works that core. Beautiful. If you guys can, come all the way down and tap your toe. If you wanna keep it modified, come right here. No need to go all the way down. You're doing just great. Inhale. And exhale for four, three, two, and one. Shake it off right Ooh. here. Shake it off. Your hands are coming right behind your head. How are we feeling? I feel good. Good? good. Awesome. Job. Now, we're gonna come for a good morning. So what I want you guys to do is really focus on your hamstrings right here, pushing through those heels and squeezing your abs in tight. Squeeze, perfect. Yes, flat back right here. Awesome. Here we go. Now, again with this move, you're really only getting out of it. Like I said, as much effort as you're putting in, it's really easy to give minimal effort with this. So I really want you guys to put that mind towards your thighs, towards your hamstrings, and make sure your hands are behind your head with good posture. Last one right here, holding at the top. Squeeze your glutes extra tight. Hold, 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 and cross crunch it out. Yes, perfect. Getting those obliques. Exhale every crunch. You guys know the drill. Driving that knee towards your opposite elbow. Perfect. Yes. Almost there. 10 more seconds. Inhale and exhale. One of my favorite low impact cardio moves right here. So fun. So fun, right? <laughs> For three, keep your hands behind your head in two, and one. All right, hands are still right behind your head. We have a squat, and then we're gonna cross crunch it out. So here we go, squat low, pick it up, and really driving that knee towards that opposite elbow. Now why I love this move is you're really working your booty and your abs at the same time. We're hitting those obliques, also making sure we have great squat form with your hands right behind your head. Exhale every crunch. Nice work. Four. Woo. Three. Woo. Two. I know. <laughs> and one. Relax as you guys relax. Spread these feet into a plie squat position. Toes pointed outwards. By the way, if y'all need to stop, pause this workout anytime, grab a drink of water, feel free to do so. But come right here, me and Plia, we're gonna slowly come down. Hands are coming out right in front of us, beautiful. And come right back up, squeeze. Yes, perfect, slow and steady. The slower, the better. Amazing for your inner thighs. Slowing down that heart rate, right? Yeah. Just a little bit. Oh yeah. We got our heart rate pumping those first 10 minutes. We're just gonna slow it on down. Nice work. I feel like I'm pulling in good energy. Exactly, yes. we love the cliche. I love it, pull in all that good energy, baby. Pull it in. Exhale that negativity. Oof, get out. <laughs> we need that. <laughs> Last one, we're holding that plea at the bottom. We're holding right here. Now, bring those hands to heart center. Press your palms together and give me a pulse. Pulse, oh yes. Really feel that, just a little up and down movement. You got it, abs in tight. I always have to remind myself too, y'all. Abs in tight, beautiful. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Seven. It burns. It burns. <laughs> For four, stay low though, don't stand up. Three. For two, one, twist, twist. Oh my gosh, girl, you are so low. 
Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> Get low, baby. Now, here is where you're gonna feel the burn, not only in your inner thighs, but we're also getting our abs. Little baby twist. Ooh, this burns through the abs. It yeah. really burns. <laughs> okay, let me lift a little. Four. <laughs> Woo! Three. We got we're almost yeah. there. <laughs> Two. And one. Now, what I want you guys to do is slightly come up. Oh. Give yourself a little shake out. Yeah. Don't move them up plie, though. Ooh, okay. Don't move. We're right here. We're coming back down. All right. We're picking up each heel off the ground, just like that, at a time. Awesome work, you guys. Now, this is our last move in this plie squat position. So fire it up. Finish it strong. You got it. Here we go. Ten. Nine. Almost there. Yeah. I know. But here's the thing, I love an audible exhale, right? You're letting it all go. Give yourself that release. We need it. Four, three, two, and one. All right, stand on up, we're right here. Take those shoulders, roll them back. Inhale, open up your chest. As you exhale, shift those feet right here and you're in a static lunge position. We're coming down for that lunge and coming right back up. Taking it back to basics for a hot sack right here, okay you guys? So, our abs of course, tight. Oh yeah. Our upper body is perpendicular to the mat. We're breathing in and exhale, wonderful. For four, hold at the bottom in three, in two. Hold in one. Oh, yes. Take those hands. Now, little baby twist towards that knee, just towards that side. I know. Here's where it's really going to count, you guys. The more pressure you put between your palms, the more you really gauge your core as well. Twist. Working those obliques. For six, five. Stay low. Awesome, you guys. I'm proud of you. For three. Thanks, Katie. Woo! <laughs> Last one. <laughs> And we're hinging forward, floating that back foot. Perfect, you guys. Lift and lower, back leg lift. Yes, now, what I want you guys to do is give a little bend in that static leg. You're doing amazing, perfect form, you guys. I'm so proud of you. Squeeze that back glute. And make sure you're balancing through your core as well. Now, if you guys want to make sure you're challenging yourself, float your back toe so it never touches the mat. That's hard. Yeah. If you need that extra balance, of course. We have three. We have two. Hold that foot down in one. Hands come up right above head. Reach, reach, reach. We're gonna do a side pull. So pull that knee towards your chest, towards your elbows, working those lower abs. Awesome. Here we go. Perfect, Nikita. You're crushing it. Thanks, Inhale. Katie. <laughs> and exhale. Here we go, this is a great ab cardio move right here. Are you guys sweating? Oh uh, yeah, get I'm there. sweating. <laughs> Beautiful. Here I don't we go. sweat, I sparkle. <laughs> Wait, say that again, everyone needs to hear it. I said, I don't sweat, I sparkle. I love it. You're shining, girl. <laughs> here we go, three, two. Plant that foot down in one, and shift those feet forward. Take a nice deep breath in. Ah, breather right here. One more big deep breath in. And let it all go. Exact same thing on the other side. So shift those toes towards the other side right here. Static lunge down, right back up. Wonderful. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze that back glute as you come up. Abs are zipped up. Good posture. If you do my workouts, you guys know that good posture, I have to remind myself, all right? Because I'm the type of girl that slouches, truly, I really am, even as a fitness trainer myself. I definitely find myself, while I'm working on my phone, slouching a lot. So while I'm working out, to practice good posture is key. Last one, we're holding at the bottom. Hold, hands turn center, give me that twist. And twist, beautiful, getting those abs. Breathe in, and out. I want to hear that breath work. Yes. Ooh, feeling that burn. Almost, that I know. <laughs> Almost there. Three, two, float that foot in one. Woo. Back leg lift. Now hinging forward, that front leg is a little bit bent. 
I also Ooh. feel the burn in my static leg as well. Do you guys feel that too? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. It's shaking. Here we go. Inhale and exhale. Ooh. That's okay. By the way, you guys, if you lose your balance, I do all the time. Just get right back to it. All right? Just like in life. Just like in life. <laughs> right. you fall off the track. Hop right back on. It's all about your reaction to something, you know? Last one. Place those hands right above head. You have those side pulls. So pull through. Beautiful. And release. Really elongate your hands up and reach. Nice work. We're almost there. <laughs> Seven, six, squeeze that back glute. Don't forget, three, two, and one. All right, shake it off, shake it off. Ah. You're crushing it so far. Thank you. Woo. You're crushing it. How are you guys feeling? Ah. You're always feeling good. We're gonna take a nice deep breath We're in right here. So inhale, and let it all go. We're gonna get down on the mat next. So now is your time halfway through the workout to just take a nice deep breath in. Grab some water if you guys need. Let it all go and meet me at the end of your mat. We're gonna come on this side right here. How are you guys feeling? Good. Good? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Nikki is really giving me a big smile. I love it. I love it. All right. We're gonna come down, walk our hands down into a high plank position, but hold right here at the top grabbing on to those elbows. A little bit of a stretch break right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, feels so good. good. Now, tuck that chin towards your chest. Let your head really hang loose. Nice work, feeling this stretch, not only along your hamstrings, but your shoulders as well. One more big deep breath right here. And when you're ready, walk your hands out to a high plank. We're holding this high plank right here. Hold, 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 booty in tight. Abs in tight. Breathe in. And as you exhale, release those knees into a tabletop position. Scoot your hands a little bit closer to you guys if you need. We have a cat cow, so round out that back. And inhale, here we go. We have one more. Just to kind of re-energize us right here. Oxygen gives us energy that we need to finish this workout strong. You're gonna need it. <laughs> now, <laughs> come back to that tabletop position right here. Press those palms into the mat. Curl under those toes and lift those knees up into a floating position. Floating tabletop or a bare position as I love to call it. We're holding this right here, an amazing isometric exercise. Hold, hold, hold for seven, for six, five, four, three. Back to that high plank in two and one. Scoot your feet back, hold. Back to that bear position. Yes, nice work, you guys. We're gonna keep repeating that back. We only have a few, so let's crush it. And back, yes. So as you guys can see, Nikita is doing the modified version, if you wanna explain. I'm dropping my knees down as I walk into that tabletop rather than holding that bear pose. I love it. Just as a little modification. Last one, meet me in that bear pose and slowly drop your knees towards the mat. Nice work, you guys. Coming right here onto your elbows. Releasing that lower back tension. Straight leg. We have some nice, beautiful leg lifts. So lift and lower. We were talking about this earlier. All three of us just love a good leg lift. Love a leg lift. <laughs> love a booty work. We do. <laughs> and here's the thing. You really can work your butt with no equipment needed, right? Right. Yeah. Ooh, feels good. Also, of course, make sure your abs are in tight right here. Keep breathing. Last two. We're holding that leg at the top on this last one. Hold and pulse. I love a good pulse. Here love a go. good pulse. I know, that's because you really feel the burn. Yeah. Ooh, your legs get nice and shaky, feeling spicy. Beautiful, you guys. Pulse for six, five, four, three. We're gonna leave that leg up there in two and one. Flex that foot, all right? And give me some hamstring curls, knee bent in and out. Perfect, yes, right there. I'm proud of you guys. 
wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is in the day, you got yourself up, you pressed play, you followed along, and you're crushing it. We have four, we have three. For two, hold, bent leg right here, flex that foot and pulse. You already Ooh, know. You already knew. You already knew. Ready ready <laughs> Let's get it. Dang, Katie. Woo! All right, now if you guys don't feel this at home, now you do. Now you sure do, I know it. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax that knee, come into a child's pose. Yes. We have the same <sighs> movements on the other side. And I want you guys to take a deep breath right here. Now, as you're in this child's pose, inch your fingers up that mat just a little bit. Yes, getting the shoulders relieved right here. Sink your forehead into the mat. Give me two really big deep breaths in right here. Awesome work, you guys. And as you finish, that last exhale, we're coming up back onto your elbows. Are you ready? I'm ready. Straighten that I'm other leg. I'm ready. And leg lift it out. Beautiful, you guys. Now making sure you're also elongating your upper body in this as well, all right? You can have great posture even in leg lifts. <laughs> Beautiful. Here we go. We have a good um, little ab sequence after this booty sequence. So I really want you guys to crush it. Working your lower half. Here we go. Last three. Two. Last one. Hold that leg up there. Pulse it out. Pulse. Pulse. Wee. Pulse. Yes. Abs are in tight. Take the pressure mm. off of your elbows as well. Don't lean too much on them. Lift up your upper body. Awesome. Ooh, I feel it. I know. <laughs> I, I know. It. Three, two, leave that leg up there. Flex that foot. Awesome work. Bend it in and right back out. Hamstring curls. Now really what I want you guys to do, now your thighs are really staying still. It's just your lower half of your leg right here on a hinge on your knee. Great work, you guys. We have six, five, four, three, I know, two. Last one, hold that foot up there in one and pulse, pulse. I know, I know, you guys, I feel it too. Here we go, finish it strong. Last booty move right here. Here we go. For four. For three, for two, for one. Relax, come right back up into that tabletop position. Beautiful, now instead of a full child's pose back, I just kinda want you guys to circle around just to shake off your lower half. Do whatever feels right for you right here. Inhale, and exhale. One more big deep breath. And as you exhale, swing around onto your booty. Hi. How are we feeling? I feel good. I love a little check-in. How are we feeling? I like you to check in on yourself too. Um, so every time I ask you guys how are you guys feeling, I hopefully you guys are checking in on yourself as well. So I want your feet planted right here. What I want you guys to do is slow Pilates roll down. So your palms are facing towards the sky. We're rolling down each vertebrae at a time and coming right back up. Great. Now, Nikita, if you want to modify it, just come halfway down and right back up, all right? Beautiful. If you want to go fully all the way down, make sure you're really rounding out those shoulders on your way down. Each vertebrae at a time. Wonderful. Last three. For two. Exhale at the top, last one. Meet me how we started. Great, you're gonna take one arm. You're gonna really reach back and come right back to center. Awesome, opening up that chest. And exhale, wonderful. Now if you don't feel this, I want you guys to inch yourself down even further. Get even lower, all right? And then don't come back up to center, just stay low. 
right here. Lean back even further. Make sure you're challenging yourself. For four. Reach back. Woo! Three. First, two. And one. Your arms are still going to be in front of you, but just place them right to the side. And we're picking up our feet into a boat pose position. What I want you guys to do is just flutter these arms right here, all right? Now this is going to just crush your core, which is exactly what we want. Keeping those shoulders down and back with good posture. Keep those feet up. Now, Nikita, if you want to modify it, place your feet right back down. Awesome work, you guys. Katie, can we cross our feet or is that... I don't love a crossover. Technically, you actually can. But I was actually a college athlete, and my trainer literally said crossing your feet is cheating. Mm -hmm. I don't really know why exactly, because I see also some other trainers crossing their feet. But whatever really feels right for you, we try not to cross your feet. <laughs> nice work, you guys. For three, for two, for one. Don't put your feet down quite yet. Place your hands right behind you. We have some V-ins. So, almost like you're pressing something out in front of you, and you're driving those knees towards your chest. This is awesome right here. I love it. I love it. This is one of my favorite ab moves. I promise you guys, it is tried and true. Here we go. Seven, six, five, we're almost there. Four, three, two. Plant those feet in one. Oh. Hold. And what we're gonna do, sorry, we're not done yet. I'm really sorry. We're gonna roll down, slowly roll down. Hold right here. Catch your breath, inhale, and exhale. Now as you exhale, lift one leg straight up in the air, just like that. Beautiful, opposite hand. We're gonna reach towards that ankle, all right? Straight leg comes down, and reach. Beautiful, getting those shoulders up off the mat just a little bit. And exhale every time. You guys are crushing it. We're almost done, so I want you guys to finish strong. We have three, Woo. I know, for two. Hold that leg straight up on this last one, hold. Arm comes down, I want single leg hip bridge right here. So pick up that booty, we only have a few of these. Here we go. Single leg, keep that leg straight for four. Woo. And an option to modify is to have both those feet down. Yes. Two. Stay with that bridge. Two. And one, relax, plant the other foot. Opposite leg, straight up. Arm, come reaching towards your ankle and back down. Nice work, you guys. Let's crush it. I know, notice how we're a lot less talking about I know, no, as literally, as the workout like literally got below 10 minutes, I was like, Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm really sweating. <laughs> nice work, almost there, last two. Last one, leave that leg up there just like this. And single leg hip bridge. Beautiful. Try your best to really tuck under those hips. Your abs are still in tight. You're pushing off this heel for that hip bridge. We have three, that's it. Two. Last one. And release, grab your knees, pull them towards your chest right here. Mm. Just give me a side to side rock. We are entering our cool down state. So you crushed it, Yay. you crushed it. You crushed Woo. it. <laughs> but please don't go anywhere because we have to cool down. <laughs> nice work, you guys. Now, three ball roll up. So using your momentum in three, and two, and one. Swing around, high plank. Start to pedal out your feet just to get that stretch in your lower half as well. Nice work. And whenever you're ready, take that foot through, plant it right between your hands, deep runner's lunge. And relax, opening up your hips right here, taking those hands towards the sky. Always so great to cool down. Ugh, this always feels so good. It's my favorite way to open up your hips, especially after those booty workouts, a little bit of an inner thigh work as well. And let's come right back down for that high plank. Pedal out your feet again. And whenever you're ready, opposite foot comes through. 
plant it between your hands. Deep runner's lunge on the other side. Slow down your heart rate. Arms come up again. And every time you exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Great. And coming into that high plank. We are going to slowly walk our hands towards our feet. Roll up each vertebrae at a time. Last but not least, those shoulders. Meet me to standing. We're gonna do a deep breath in, but we're holding our arms at the top. And as you exhale, come from side to side. Nice work, you guys. If you guys love this workout, make sure to check out the Katie Austin app for seriously hundreds of at-home accessible workouts. Anything from low impact, beginner, also to hit, to weight training. Whatever you need, I got you. Really reach on this last side bend. And we're gonna end with some shoulder rolls, exactly how we started. Last deep breath right here, inhale. And shake it on yeah. out, you crushed yeah. it. Thank you, Nikita. Thank you, Paris. And thank you guys at home for joining me. Once again, my name is Katie Austin, the founder of the Katie Austin app. So make sure you guys go check it out if you love this workout. And I will see you guys next time on Class Fit Sugar. Bye, y'all. Bye.